playing a night game this Saturday to open up their season for the first time in program history, playing host to Miami of Ohio. The Hawks have won four prior meetings here, and, well, Iowa enters the game as big favorites once again. But Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us why preparing for the Red Hawks is a little more challenging this season. There are plenty of unknowns when preparing for the first opponent of any season. Just never sure who's going to show up, first of all, who they are going to play and what, what amount. But the Hawkeyes face a unique situation as they get ready for Miami, Ohio. The possibility of playing against three different quarterbacks on Saturday night. It's not easy, but, you know, you got to do it, so... I mean, just trying to mimic it with the scouts is the best you can, watching tape on what they've shown. None of the Red Hawks' potential signal callers have ever started a college football game. Kirk Ferentz says the unfamiliarity simplifies the defensive scheme, at least at the beginning of the game. It minimizes some of the things you may, may do or may not do, and, and you kind of get a little bit more generic, and I think the bottom line... Uh, especially early on, it's just, you know, let's make sure we're really solid, make sure fundamentally sound, or everybody's got to be on the same page. Another challenge to preparing for multiple quarterbacks is that the Red Hawks could have both a lefty and a righty in the mix. Geno Stone says that'll put a premium on communication. Trying to figure out which way they're going to roll out, which way they're going to run the ball, uh, what side the quarterback feels comfortable on. So really just trying to adjust with the first, the first, really the first drive in the first half. We just got to play our keys and, you know, play our defense, whether it's the first string quarterback, second string quarterback, or third string quarterback. You know, we just got to adjust to it and adjust to what we see. Whoever gets the nod at quarterback for Miami will be trying to end the program's 14-game losing streak to Big Ten opponents. It's going to be a tall task against that Iowa defense, though, as the Hawkeyes have allowed just 10 points combined in the past two season openers. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters. Hawkeyes and Red Hawks playing under the lights Saturday, 6.30 kickoff. We'll have full coverage of this one all weekend long. And just a reminder, we'll have all your high school football coverage starting with our first sports zone this year, tomorrow night at 10.15, followed by our first outside the zone at 10.45 on our KCAU 9 Facebook page.